Welcome to the chapter Playing with Shapes. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Define Net Shape Identify the net shapes of the object Explain how a rectangle shape shadow is formed. Find the object by observing its shadow. Define a circle. Measure the radius of a circle. Make your own tangram set. Construct the figures with the tangram set. Introduction When we see cartoon pictures, we observe different kinds of shapes like circle, triangle, rectangle, hexagon, pentagon, and octagon. How can we compare these shapes with particular objects? Let's find out the answers to such questions in this chapter. Introduction to the Shapes of Objects In our daily life, we are playing with different objects like ball and dice. If we observe these two objects, we may see that the ball is circular in shape and the dice is cubical in shape. Suppose we cut along the edges of the dice, we may see the picture which shows the six sides of the dice opened out flat, showing how a number of spots appear on each side. Now we will discuss about the shapes of some more objects by opening it completely. Here is your birthday gift from your friends. Put the item aside and have a look at the box. Take a pair of scissors and cut it gently along the edges of the box. Here we get to know that the square shaped box consists of five squares. This is called net of the shape. Let us do an activity to identify the nets of shapes. Identify the shape that can be formed using the following net. Let us solve an example problem on nets of 3D shape. A dice is a cube with dots on each face. The opposite faces of a dice always have a total of 7 dots on them. Here are two nets to make dice. Insert the suitable number of dots in blanks. The solution is as follows. First, take the net of image 1. Try to fold such that it makes closed figure as shown. Now, as we know, Opposite faces of a dice always have a total of 7 dots on them. So, the opposite face of 6 will be 1, the opposite face of 5 will be 2, and the opposite face of 4 will be 3. Similarly, on folding the second net diagram, we get as shown. So, opposite of 3 is 4, opposite of 2 is 5, and opposite of 1 is 6. Here we will do an activity to know how these shapes can be formed through shadows. Click each tab to know more. Objective The main objective of this activity is to know how these shapes can be formed through shadows. Take a torch and a book in your hands. Place the torch under the book and focus the light on it in an open area at night. Make sure that there is a distance of about 30 cm between the book and the torch. Now ask your friend to hold a drawing sheet at a distance of 1 meter above the book. Observe the shadow of the book. Conclusion we observed that the book forms a rectangle shaped shadow on a drawing sheet when the torch is placed under the book in an open area at night. Let us do an activity to guess the object 
by observing its shadow. Now let us draw a circle with the help of thread and pencil. Place a paper over a cardboard. Take a drawing pin, a thread and a pencil. Tie one end of the thread to the pencil. Tie the other end of the thread to the drawing pin and push the end of the drawing pin into the paper and cord. Make sure that the thread can turn freely and place the pin at the center of the paper. Draw a circle by moving the pencil around the pin. Here we get a shape which is called circle, which has a closed curve. Here we will do an activity to know how to find the radius of circle. Click each tab to know more. The main objective of this activity is to know how to find the radius of a circle. Take a sheet of paper and place it on the table. Now take a bangle. Put it on the paper. Now take a pencil or marker. Draw an outline of the bangle and observe the shape formed. Cut the circle, fold it three times as shown in the picture. Open it, they are all meeting at one point. This is the center of the circle. Take a scale. Measure the length from the center to the edge of the circle. Take as many different points on the edge as you want. Observe the measured length. Conclusion here we find that the length from the center to the edge is the same each time. This length is called the radius of the circle. In this section, you will be able to know about making figures with tangram. Tangrams are ancient and fascinating Chinese puzzles made up of seven movable geometrical shapes. The tangram consists of seven geometrical shapes, that is, five triangles of small, medium and large sizes, one square and one parallelogram, all cut from one perfect square. See the figure shown on screen. We can observe that the figure looks like a soccer player. Note that all the figures should not overlap. Summary Let us see the highlights of this chapter. Net shape is a pattern that we can cut and fold to make a model of a solid shape. The book forms a rectangle shaped shadow on a drawing sheet. When the torch is placed under the book in an open area at night, the length from the center to the edge is the same each time. This length is called the radius of the circle. Tangrams are ancient and fascinating Chinese puzzles made up of seven movable geometrical shapes. The tangram consists of seven geometrical shapes, that is five triangles of small, medium and large sizes, one square and one parallelogram, all cut from one perfect square. Practice Joan Try to solve the questions on your own. Click Solution tab to verify your answer. Follow-up work. For each shape shown below, put a torch exactly to its left and a blank screen on the right and switch on the torch and observe the shadows of each object and name the shape of the shadows obtained in each case. Evaluation. Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter playing with shapes.